Okay, so I'm going to check out one more trailer before I call it quits for today. It's pretty late and I'm feeling like I'm not quite focused on things, but I was wanting to check this one out. It's called She's Missing. Um, not exactly sure the genre, but I'm just going to guesstimate some sort of maybe suspense or thriller or mystery or something like that. Um, just based, just because of the title and I can't remember what the thumbnail was. I honestly don't recall. Maybe it was a picture of, um, the Gonzalez girl's face. I, th I think, uh, I might be wrong. Like I recognized her face. Like maybe I'd seen her before somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure if I really have, or if she just looks like somebody that I've seen before. So, um, no clue about this other than just the stuff I sort of pieced together by looking at the thumbnail and the title. So let's go ahead and check it out. I asked God for him a few weeks ago at the rodeo. Look at me. Do I look like a king? We may love the country. Oh. Yeah, I do know who she is. And her too. It was her face. I'm getting her confused with the other girl. The name. But I, I recognize her. She played in the Wolf Creek show on Shudder. This girl played in, um, that vampire TV show. Where do you think she was going? Some guy say up by the mines. The desert it over. It's calling you up. I got something that'll help you find Jane. Hmm. You're lost, aren't you? There are two types of people in this world. Those who are lost and powerless. Jane? And those who have found their place. The American dream has been taken away from us. You're gonna have power. The American dream has oh, been just taken away from me. Okay. Um. So let's go back and look at this cast list. Uh, Lucy Fry. That was the girl whose thumbnail it showed, but it put Gonzalez's name first in the title so I assumed that she was Gonzalez and that particular actress uh, like I said I had seen her in the um, Shutter series about um, Wolf Creek I think it was called it was I don't remember if that was the actual title of the series but it was based on the Wolf Creek stories like that bad character guy from the Wolf Creek wasn't there a movie or something? It takes place in Australia. Um, so that was the first thing I had seen her in or the first thing I recognized her in as a, or paid attention to her in as an actress. I think she is Australian, I do believe, but in, in the Shutter show, she was playing an American, even though it took place in Australia, and here she's playing an American. So, well, that makes me wonder if she's Australian. I mean... Is she is she putting on a fake accent or does she really talk like an American? Like maybe was she raised here? Because I did look her up briefly, but I don't remember. Like the stuff didn't settle in my head, um, so I don't remember what her, um, you know, where her upbringing was. If it was over there, if it was over here, or whatever. Uh, anyway, that's irrelevant. But um, Gonzalez and I don't know how to say her name. It looks like it's. Elza, or I can't tell if that's an I. Anyway, I recognize her from from Dusk Till Dawn. It was, um, geez, I can't remember the channel this came on. Shoot. Some, some Latino channel, you know, like um, Spanish language or Spanish language themed type channel. And uh, Robert Rodriguez had done, worked on the series, I believe, or he was involved in the series. But it was just sort of, they took the original movie and they you know they made this 
series about it. I think maybe it went for three seasons. I've seen, <laughs> this is one of the many series that I haven't finished. I've seen into the second season. I don't believe I finished the second season. Or if I did, at some point Demi Lovato showed up in that show. Um, maybe I did finish the second season, but I know I have not finished the actual show, so I don't know how it ends yet, if I got around to seeing it. Anyway, um, Josh Hartnett, I, he, when it was showing him at first, he seemed familiar, but I, for some reason, it didn't settle in my head that that was Josh, because he looked so much younger to me, um, so, and, anyway, but whatever, it just didn't click, maybe it's just because it's late. Christian Camaru, I don't know, Camargo, Christian Camargo, that name sounds really familiar, you guys, but I did not get a good enough look at his face to be able to tell exactly who he was, so that's going to bug me, and I'll try to remember to check that out. Anyway, with regard to this particular story, um, oh, and the trailer, the trailer was not very long. It was less than a minute and 37 seconds. I feel like it was quite well done. Um, it, the, the narrative was, was pretty fluid. It flowed well, gave you a good idea what it's about. This girl whose friend has gone missing. Um, you know, I, obviously there's a bunch of little details that we will see in the movie as we watch it that aren't revealed in this trailer, but you know, I'm having a sense that this is probably something that's going to end badly for the main character and for the the girl that went missing. I just, I don't know. And I'm curious. Um, this is a mystery. I like mysteries. But mysteries like this, I mean, this looks pretty, like it's going to be pretty gritty and raw. And... It, this sort of thing is not typically my favorite type of, like I, since I sort of get this terrible sense of foreboding about this story, I'm having a feeling right off the bat that I feel like I probably won't care for it too much, even though I am interested to watch it and I probably will at some point. I just sense that it's going to be so terrible the ending is going to be so but not necessarily terrible as in it's going to be a bad movie and a terrible story and the writing's going to suck but just terrible for the main characters of course it's also very possible that um maybe i will feel like i don't like the main characters too much and so therefore anything terrible that happens to them won't really emotionally affect me as much there are some movies where uh, or, or shows or whatever stories that I dislike the main characters so much, like they are so highly flawed to me that I dislike them so much that I don't care if something bad happens to them. I'm not sure if this is the way I'm going to feel when I watch this. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be kind of a little bit of a complex sort of emotional story going on here. So um, I don't know. I won't know more until I get a chance to watch it, but I'm not sure. Let's see. When does it say it's going to come out? It does not say. Uh, okay, so uh, the synopsis is her best friend goes missing at a, ro at a rodeo, and so she goes on a search across the desert, digging up secrets and encountering the violence of life on the road. So, okay. The violence of life on the road. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Do they mean, are these girls wanderers? Or does it just mean this is what she encounters along the way, you know, along the search for her friend? So, okay. Well, those questions will be answered whenever I get around to watching it. So, but uh, since I have no idea what the release date is, the trailer's just dated 2019. Maybe it's going to be released this year on streaming or something. I guess I'll know more later. Um, so until then, I don't really have much more to add about this. So I'm going to wrap this one up and call it quits for the day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>